Now let us discuss about the abstract of a research proposal. How to write abstract? Abstract is basically a short summary of a research proposal. So it is very, very important. First of all, the title is very important. As I explained in my first video, the title is very important because uh, when the title is attractive, the reader will read your research proposal or the committee member. The second important thing in research proposal where people can read at least is the abstract, right? So let's talk about abstract. This is the basic uh, content of a research proposal. Every research proposal contains this uh, information. Now, the first thing you, you have to include in your abstract is reason for writing. It does not mean that reason for writing abstract, but reason for writing mean that you are uh, writing a proposal. So, for example, if you are talking, writing a proposal about Internet of Things, if you are writing your in, uh, research proposal for artificial intelligence or for robotics or what field you are working in, so you have to write the reason for that, that why you are working uh, in IoT or artificial intelligence or in robotics. You have to write the reason. What were the motivations? This means that what were the driving force uh, that you are going to write a proposal for that? Who forced you? This is uh, the basic thing and you have to write from one to two uh, sentences uh, on this motivation, right? Which is very, very important, right? This is the first point you have to include in your uh, abstract. The second thing is the problem statement. As I mentioned that if you are working on uh, IoT or artificial intelligence, there must be some issues. Yet there must be some issues, some gap. So you have to mention that gap basically here. It is the central questions. Everything, everything in your research proposal is revolving around this problem statement, that central questions. So you have to shortly mention uh, that problem statement in your abstract. I hope things are very, very clear. The third point is experimental methods and methodology. You have to explain briefly in your abstracts that what methods you will be using. For example, you will, you will be used. This means that you are talking about the future because you are writing research proposal. So you have to explain that I will use XRD method, I will use simulations, you see here, I will use DFT approach. So you have to write the, the methods in the abstract, right? Result finding arguments. If it is a research, a research paper, so you have to talk about the results. But if you do not have results and you are working in the future, so you are not supposed to include this in your uh, abstract or research proposal. The last thing is very important, implications. This implications means that the significance. This is basically means the impact. The impact you see here. If this means that some knowledge is already there in IoT field or artificial intelligence. So what are you going to add? To add something with the existing knowledge. What are you going to add something with the existing knowledge in artificial intelligence or in Internet of Things. So that is basically the implication here. And on the basis of that, your hypothesis, etc., you also suggest and recommend for future research that if that happened, that happened, so this can be done. But this is again, uh, work these things good for uh, uh, research paper, uh, review paper, not for proposal, right? Now let's see here. These are basically uh, the cracks uh, of a uh, abstract here. So we know that abstract is basically a concise summary of entire research proposal. It is well developed single paragraph. You have to write a single paragraph, right? This means that 200 to 300 words and there are some uh, limit of every uh, organizations, right? Uh, you are not supposed to give references in the abstract. No need to give references, right? You have to briefly outline all parts. You see here, there I mentioned that you have to talk about the results, you have to talk about the experimental methods, you have to talk about the problem statement, you have to talk about the reason of writing. You see, you have to write about the implications. So that is all parts basically here. You have to write all parts. 
in your CV, right? Uh, the most important thing is uh, abstract should be uh, written uh, in the last because if you are writing summary of something, so how you can write abstract first? So you have to write abstract at the end, right? And the last point is basically, the last point is basically uh, abstract should stand alone. This means that when somebody read your abstract without reading the whole research proposal, they have to understand the whole story of the research proposal. This means this means that it has to uh, stand alone. This means that it can it will it it, it has to contain all the information uh, about the proposal, right? This means that it should be a separate body. Uh, the, the question is here: What tends to use during writing your abstracts? So as I explained here, uh, mostly in a research proposal, you have to use the future tense. And for research paper, uh, you have to use past or present. These two words for research paper. And for proposal, you have to use uh, uh, future tense.